Greetings to all of you gathered in El Paso to remember and honor our good friend, Bob Chisholm. My sincere regrets for not being able to attend in person, but it's fitting that I'm sitting here near Chicago in front of a James Dietz 1999 Wrath of the Red Devils print that depicts First Sergeant Leonard Funk and three of his men courageously charging Gagas Bailerbahn and clearing the landing zone just before gliders arrived from England on day two of Operation Market Garden in Eastern Holland. When I talked with Bob in early 2019, he said he was most proud of being awarded the Legion of Merit for his own courageous actions in Operation Market Garden. Some of you know the story, that despite being just a corporal at the young age of 19, he took charge of over 80 men and organized an orderly evacuation to higher ground without casualties, despite facing a well-equipped and large enemy force. So it's fitting that I use this as a backdrop to honor and commemorate Bob's own bold actions in Holland. Let's take a little time to listen to Bob and to reflect on his long and impactful life. I'd like to start out by reading from a letter that I wrote in support of his All-American Hall of Fame application in March, 2019. I said, Bob is a genuine leader and a perfect resource for a volunteer organization like our association. He demonstrates humility, is soft-spoken and mild-mannered, and is a good-humored gentleman. He is an excellent listener who contributes wise advice and consistent encouragement. I can only offer sincere gratitude for Bob's contributions over the years, helping our association, quote, preserve the legacy. It should be no surprise that in early 2021, our association renamed its Person of the Year Award as the Bob Chisholm Person of the Year. So let's hear from Bob. In 2013, um, did you receive some sort of an award, like named an All-American or something? I was named the 82nd Airborne Division All-American of the Year. How did that make you feel? Wonderful. What an honor. Geez, they got 40,000 people to choose from. And why me? I don't know. Uh, quite a surprise when I was called and said, uh, you're going to be named the 82nd Airborne Division Man, Social Man of the Year. And I, my goodness. So uh, uh, I went up to brag and uh, was presented the award, and I was awed by it. And um, when you were there, did you have uh, occasion to interact with some of the younger military guys of today? Yes, I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah as a matter of fact, uh, uh, one young man and his wife, the particular, that uh, impressed me, he lost his leg in uh, Iraq, or, and uh, he said, uh, first he said, uh, uh, sir, I'd like to have my picture taken with you. And I said, well, I'd just be honored to have my picture taken with you. And uh, then I had my picture taken with me. He says, uh, he said, could you just uh, sit down with me and my wife for a little while and talk to us? Uh, absolutely. And it, it, was, it, was, uh, it was quite interesting. But I had a number of those young men come up and congratulate me. And, and, but this, this one uh, uh, really touched me. And uh, uh, I, I guess it uh, probably helped him and did him some good. I sat down and talked to him. And, uh, we had about a 30-minute conversation. If you could, um, if you could reflect on uh, one memorable moment from World War II, your most memorable moment, what would it be? And it could be anything. It could be a funny moment. Well, Sad moment the, the one moment that stays in my memory more than anything else of being shot on my 19th birthday. <laughs> hmm. On that road, which you didn't know why you were walking down it. <laughs> While I'm walking down the road in enemy territory, the whole damn platoon, the whole patrol is walking down the road with Kelso Horn as a, as a patrol leader. You don't ever do that. <laughs> I mean, of course, we're supposed to make contact with the enemy. We sure did. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission there. accomplished. Yeah, but that uh, and 
and people sometimes ask me, what, what? just like you did. I said, gee, it's got to be that on my 19th birthday I was shot the first time. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to tell future generations at all? Any piece of advice from somebody from your background, your experience? You have a lot to offer. What would you tell them? I would say learn the history of your country. That that is very important. That you know where we've been and how we got there. And uh, that it is, uh, it is so important because if you don't know the history of your country, uh, you're, just, uh, you're just missing out on a great opportunity. Uh, respect, uh, respect your country and your constitution and all people in your country without regard to race, creed, or religion. Uh, I think if you can do that, that uh, not only will you be a success, your country will be a success. And that's something worth fighting for. That's what we've been fighting for. After Bob was inducted in the 82nd All-American Hall of Fame in May 2019, he said to me, Chris, you know how I felt about earning the Legion of Merit in Holland. But what do you think? Is this my biggest achievement? I quickly answered, well, beyond having a wonderful marriage to Margaret and beyond parenting your beloved Dawn, I would say the All-American Hall of Fame is your most significant award because it recognizes your entire military and civilian life. It's a recognition of eight decades of a most impactful adult life. We should note that to date, Lieutenant Colonel Bob Chisholm, his great friend, Command Sergeant Major Rock Merritt, and First Sergeant Leonard Funk are the three Red Devils among the 57 inductees into the All-American Hall of Fame. Forever distinguished among the hundreds of thousands who have served with the 82nd Airborne Division over the last 105 years. Given this distinction, I went back and perused that All-American Hall of Fame application. It was essentially divided into two sections. The first section has the introductory statement, Colonel Robert E. Chisholm has made exceptional contributions to the 82nd Airborne Division, to American society, and to the greater world. With those defining criteria, I listed 12 key bullets spanning his Army career accomplishments, his business leadership successes, his extensive contributions to veterans organizations, and his legacy surrounding the Benavides Patterson Chapters Scholarship Program and the Don Chisholm Doyle Memorial Scholarship Fund at the University of Texas, El Paso. All I can say is, wow. But the second section criteria statement was, Colonel Robert E. Chisholm has throughout his life exhibited the best qualities and characteristics of the 82nd Airborne. I went on to list another eight bullets surrounding his selfless three decades of Army service despite serious combat injuries, his leadership on the battlefield beyond one's rank, his unwavering dedication towards and love of family, his volunteerism and charity work, his listener-type leadership, and his humility as a soldier and person. What an honor and privilege it was to get to know Bob better and be part of telling his entire life story. You know, in the business world, we talk about what's your 30 second elevator speech. In May, 2019, here is what we wrote as the so-called executive summary about Bob. An original World War II paratrooper, Bob Chisholm made combat jumps into Normandy on D-Day and into Holland during Operation Market Garden, then fought courageously in the Battle of the Bulge. He was wounded in all three actions and evacuated from both France and Belgium. As a corporal, he was awarded the Legion of Merit for inspiring performance of duty in Holland. In a 29-year distinguished Army career, he led in combat in both Korea and Vietnam, becoming just one of 324 soldiers to earn three combat infantry badges. Later, Bob pursued a successful business career and then dedicated himself to veterans organizations, including his beloved Benavides Patterson chapter of the 82nd Airborne Division Association cementing his legacy through scholarship programs at the chapter and also at the University of Texas, El Paso. I always like to remind folks what the mission of our association is, and that is to honor, preserve, and communicate the history of all eras of 508 paratroopers. From originals like Bob and his cherished friend, Rock Merritt, to today's two battalions of the 508 within the 82nd Airborne Division based at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, 
hundreds of whom are now once again front and center deployed in Eastern Europe, defending freedom and democracy. Those paratroopers, both those deployed and those on alert, are the legacy of Bob and Ron. So today we honor a great American and a downright great person, an American patriot, a loving and devoted husband to Margaret and father to Don, a local business leader, a volunteer who donated to numerous causes, and a true gentleman in every sense of the word. Today, we have an important opportunity to once again recommit ourselves to telling the story of Bob Chisholm, his family, his comrades, and his colleagues, so that future generations might be motivated and inspired by one of the giants of Tom Brokaw's greatest generation. Put on your boot, boot, boots and parachute, shoot, shoot, we're going up, 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 we're coming down, down, down. Put on your boot, we're all American and proud to be. Boots and parachute, with the soldiers of scissor teeth. Shoot, we're going up, some ride their biters to the end of me. We're coming out of the sky, parachute, down, down, down. on your boot, we're all American and fight, we will. Boots and parachute, all the guns of the To fight them all the 82nd way. Hey, hey! Put on your boot, boot, boots and parachute. Shoot, shoot, we're going up. We're coming down. Put on your boot, we're all American and proud to be. Boots and parachute. We're the soldiers of liberty. Shoot, we're going up. Some ride their fighters to the end. 